Well, welcome to the step-by-step -step tutorial for ebook formatting kit 3.0. Now in this tutorial we're going to sh talk about the table of contents. Now that is on page 19 step 11 in your quick guide and it states that and it's true every book should have a table of contents and the basic setup has already been set up in your master template that you've been working with. Um, but I want to show you two different ways to do it. To link to pages is exactly that. You link to the page, which is an entire page, name.xhtml. But let's say you want to link to somewhere on the page. Well, then you use an anchor tag with a hash mark. First, you create the anchor tag, the identification where it's located on the page, and then you link to it through the hash mark. So let's work with that. Now remember in our content, or when we place the content on here, we chose to use the page break before always in the CSS style sheet for our heading one tags. So we're not going to have individual pages for the chapters. If you did make individual pages, um, there is a supplemental video talking about how to do that and how to set up the table of contents. What we need to do now is we need to set up the IDs. Now we set the chapter as ID 1 or ID start, but it doesn't need to be that. It can be any ID that you want. Because by default, the first starting page is the page after the TOC. At least it is that for the Kindle. So what I need you to do now is go through and make identification or IDs for each of your chapters and keep it very simple. Like for chapter 2, just put CH2. You want to keep them all consistent, all very similar, so you know how to find them. For nonfiction, you're, you might even have to write these things down on a piece of paper so you remember. So we only have three chapters, so we've named them Start, CH1, and CH, I mean CH2 and CH3. So now we need to work at the table of contents. Now originally we have, I set the chapter one as the content page. Now, if you'd had that chapter one, it would be named chapter one. I put the ID start because we know that's going to be the start page. But to link to all the other chapters, remember they're all on the same content page. So first we need to name the correct page. I have chapter two. We don't have any chapter two on the left. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy it. And I'm going to highlight chapter two and paste it. So now I have chapter two linking to the same content page, but if it links there, it's gonna just go to the page, which is chapter one. This is where I put in the ID tag. Now remember the ID for chapter two was CH2. So to link to that location, you put a hash mark, which is shift and it's above the three on your keyboard, and then CH2, that's all you have to do. Now the same goes for chapter three. You content, copy that, Paste it in, it's on the content page, and now you're going to put hash mark CH3. Now on acknowledgments and the about page, remember that these are actual pages, so they're linked over here. And you can actually follow along here. You can say, okay, I have a cover page, but you're not linking to that from the TOC. I have a copyright page, same, it's not in here either. And obviously you don't link to yourself or the TOC page, so we have content, which we have. We have our chapters and then we have acknowledgments and about. Now let's say you have four chapters or more and you want to add them. What I do is always highlight the last one on the list, Commander Control C, and then I hit the return key, and then I just keep returning and adding as many as I want, and then I just change this ID tag, or change the name, whichever has to be. When you're done with that, the last thing you should always do is hit, or the second to the last thing, is generate your TOC from headings. Because you want to make sure they're linking correctly. Before they were linking to the, the pages, now they're linking to the IDs. And you're going to click OK. Now you're going to save your file. And let's check and see how we did. And I open it up in here, and it looks like chapter 3 is OK. And if I go here, this is the um, NCX file and everything seems to be working just fine. So now we're going to go to the next video and we're going to work on the NCX.